Oh, just kill everyone? Yeah, that many people without dying yourself. Well, two th so what happened was he went to Cuba. It was like, oh, wow, there's lots of gold here. And so he told the king of, I, I think it was Spain, told the king of Spain, like, hey, lots of gold here. Mm -hmm. And so whenever he went there the first time, he talked to the natives. He didn't really do that much the first time he was there. It was never he went back. Oh, whoa, that was, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Please get through. This level sucks. Yeah. But you can do uh, it. It's yes. easy. But, yeah, so, there was all that. But here's the thing about white people. Yeah. We have a bunch of diseases back then. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, we didn't have plumbing or anything. And so everything was just kind of messed up. Oh, I get it. so high this time. It's supposed to be you use that. Oh, oh well. Just Yeah, no, screw that. Yeah, you can just... Yeah, I'll just get hit by one of those. Yeah. That's also, you can't brutal. even do it as builder. That's the funny part. Yeah, that's odd. Anyways. But, yeah, so... I don't know. I, thought, I think that's weird. But, yeah, so... A, they were getting sick. And then B, he's like, hey, bunch of gold here. Give me reinforcements and we can wipe them all out and get all the gold. And so he came back with, like... I want to say it was, like, 50 ships. Damn. And then, well, they wiped them all out. Oh, also, he did not prove the world was flat. Yeah, he They did. already knew. Yeah. Like, everyone knew Globes that... Globes were, like, a thing. Yeah, it's just, like, they just thought it was half the size. They didn't know there was a Western Hemisphere. They thought it was just Eastern. Yo, I, I, I'm i on my real Pangea shit. I think that's so interesting. Pangea? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Pangea. Yeah, I think, uh... You fuck with Pangea? <laughs> I fuck with Pangea. All right. Let's know if you fuck with Pangea. Um... Something that I find super interesting is just language as a whole, because, like, fucking why? Yeah. Um, I think it's surprising that through, like, technology and, like, civilization and everything like that, we have uh, yet to have, like, a uh, unified, universal, like... I, I get currency, because, like, economies are different. Yeah. But language, I'm, I'm surprised we never did that. And I'm surprised America didn't try and force English upon the rest of the world. Yeah. I mean, they kind of do, actually. I mean, Europe's... Britain's doing that for us, pretty much. Yeah, you're right. Britain's been doing that for years because for us. You know about, like, how they write language bibl bibl biblically? Like, what do you mean? Like, how they... Tower of Babel? Oh, yeah, the Tower of Babel? Yeah. Yeah. What What are you about to say about it? Uh, I, I, I don't know what you learned about the Tower of Babel, but in my Southern Baptist childhood, you're taught that everyone just spoke English, and then... Uh, everyone just went to the Tower of Babel and everyone came out speaking a different language. Yeah, so, uh, do you know what the Tower of Babel is? Uh, or what it's supposed to be? I think so. So, I don't, I have a really long story that I don't want to go into full detail right yeah. now about. The t give me the cliff note. But, basically, I had somebody that, the Tower of Babel, the purpose of it was like, they were, Humans were trying to build a tower to reach God in heaven. Oh, yeah, Earth. no, okay, yeah. I, I do know. You, yeah, I yeah. Gotcha. Well, before that, though, like, uh, uh, I'll go into the rest of that later. That's extremely pseudo religious theological stuff that I just know for some reason. I don't know why. But, yeah, like, God kind of decided, oh, hey, these people are trying to build their way up to heaven. I don't want that, so how can I confuse them? And then it's like, well, oh, that's. Yeah, that like, it was all came. Can I jump on them? Uh, no, j jump, slide under, and duck. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Okay. But yeah, so uh, God just kind of decided, huh? I really don't want these people to be able to work together, so might as well make them all oh, speak that's different languages. Oh, actually, hilarious. No, it's really funny, right? Yeah, but I like that a yeah. lot. There's, I'll go into brief detail. So there's this kid that I met once who was trying to convince me that he was psychic. Mm -hmm. Like we all had those. Yeah. Like this is at like a church camp I had to go to back when like sixth or seventh grade. And this is how I learned about the Tower of Babel. Because he for those that don't know, Tower of Babel happens like almost immediately in the Bible. It's like it's quick. Fifth chapter of the Bible or something. But he was just trying to tell me that like before then humans had superpowers. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember this to the day. To this day. Uh he said that humans had superpowers and then after that. God said, nope, we're taking away all your superpowers too. I like except that. Except for one, the power Jesus. of imagination. Oh my fucking right. God. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's good. What, what religion is that? I'm converted. <laughs> Apparently it's Christianity. <laughs>
I, I think one of my favorite things uh, that ever happened to me, like, at a church, was, um, I, someone asked, um, they said, hey, so, like, y'all don't believe in evolution, right? And then, uh, well, well, the, the, the pastor said, correct. And... So, they th were then asked, Yo, what about dinosaurs and shit? And they're like, We don't need to talk about that right now. <laughs> and then next Wednesday at my church service, we all had to watch a video about dinosaurs and Christianity. <laughs> it was like an hour long. And pretty much the verdict of it, because the, the kid was like, you know, there was only one day of creation, right? <laughs> and humans existed on a completely different era than dinosaurs. Which is true. Yeah. Like, like, that's a pretty big hole. Yeah. Pretty big bottle. Yeah, and then they said, what about that? So, um, y you want to take a shot in the dark what uh, my church retconned dinosaurs as? Oh. What? Um, they, they pretty much hit us with, oh, dinosaurs were created alongside Adam in the Garden of Eden. And... Uh, they were around for all the Bible. We just didn't talk about them. <laughs> so all the Bible, meaning like, to two thousand years ago, whenever you know Rome was a thing. Yeah, no, like throughout the whole Bible, uh, that's really dinosaurs funny. were a thing. We just didn't mention them in the biblical times. <laughs> like we just didn't talk about it. <laughs> Which I think taking that's a two thousand year old piece of work and trying to figure out what they didn't talk about is hilarious. That's really good. <laughs> I think that, like, the retcon that someone explained to me way back in the day, and, like, I was like, okay, that's, it was honestly a good retcon, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because, uh, cause like, you know, the, the theory is, like, you know, God created the earth in seven days, but it's yeah. like, where, how would you have a day in, whenever the sun didn't exist till like, day four or five or something? So it's like, how did days happen? So someone was like, Apparently, like, way back in, like, the Greek translation, though, it meant till the job was done. Yeah. So, he's like, so it doesn't have to be a day. It could have been, like, years. So, I'm like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Not necessarily a great answer, but... Yeah. It, it's better answer. I don't know. None of it... <laughs> but have you, uh... You know Lil Dicky? Yeah. So, have you heard the song Fellow Talking? Oh, my God. So good. Like, I, I, I feel like it just... You know... It, it hits everything. That. Hey, 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 they literally say, do you fuck with Pangea in that song? Yeah, no, that's what yeah, I thought you were yeah, referencing. Yeah. Do you fuck with the war? <laughs> that's such a good song. Um, dude, good <laughs> luck. It's like, it's like, I know there's a god. You think that you know there's a god. Like, uh, it, It's good. First off, no one knows. If you haven't heard the song, go listen to it. There's it's, a music video, too. If you oh, the that. music video is hilarious, too. Yeah. Um... So, I'm so used to just dying yeah. for that now. What was all that for? I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, pros and cons of being married. Pro, married. Con, I don't have stories of dating crazy bitches. I don't think that's a con necessarily. <laughs> no, like, dating crazy bitches is a con, but the stories you bring back after are hysterical. The stories, the war stories. Yeah, exactly. Like, am I happier now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I, I love hearing stories of awful things that happen in relationships. Like, dude, I lurk on r slash relationships frequently. I think that's the funniest shit. You know what? Let's, let's, let's just give it a quick look real quick and just see what we can uh, oh assess. Gosh. Also, r slash Tinder, fucking phenomenal. Oh. Yeah. It's, 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 I think r slash Tinder is one of the best subreddits I've ever found. What, what, what is it? Uh, people just post, like, interactions of people on Tinder. Like, I'm just gonna go look at the top post. Um, and it's a girl's bio who says, I'm very sick of pretending to be a cool, laid-back girl so people want to date me. I'm insane. I literally ball to the wall insane. And that's okay. Pussy is immaculate. Head game is otherworldly. I will treat you right and I will cry every day. High risk, high reward. Oh my gosh. That's good. That's such a good bio. <laughs> that's so that's <laughs> dang um and then this one guy messaged a girl named rosie and he goes all poo poo times are pee pee times but not all pee pee times are poo poo times and the girl responded goes what the fuck <laughs> that, that's just good that is pretty good anyways uh let's go to r slash relationships right now 
And let, let's just try and solve whatever the top problem is. You ready? I'm ready. Us relationship experts. Yeah, you, the married man and the single man. I'm not even like that good at marriage, so it's okay. My parents are pretty good at it. They've been married yeah. three times. <laughs> really? They're back together? Not this time. They got back together once, though. That was their third that. remarriage. Oh, no, sorry. They've been married four times. I forgot they were both married before they got married to each other the first time. Okay, let me find... Um... Okay. I'm 27-year-old female. My boyfriend's 33. Says, and he says he doesn't have to answer to anybody, not even me. We have been together over a year with a small break in the middle. Basically, he told me last night that he doesn't have to answer anyone when I asked him why he was messaging a certain girl on Instagram. I then proceeded to ask him what he expects out of a serious relationship because it makes me uneasy. How would you react to this? Is he right? I've always been in very open and honest relationships. I Actually, that I don't really have much to add on that. Yeah. It's just kind of like deal with your own shit. Yeah. I was hoping for more. So I saw this one relationship thread. And it was about a girl who was pissed off because her boyfriend smelled like shit constantly because he refused to wipe. He was why, anti why are there so many people that are anti-wipe? No, no. Here's the, you don't want to hear his reasoning? Because there's no reason why a man should have anything between the cheeks. Da, 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 so he's just like... Da, da. He, he pretty much called wiping gay. Yeah, he called wiping gay, and that's why he doesn't do it. Oh my gosh. That's good, isn't it? I mean, that's awful. It's like, that'd be funny if it was just something he was saying, but I guess the guy actually just believes that. Yeah, no, he clearly did, and I, I find that uh, traumatic. Genuinely so. But one of the best threads I've ever read, because the girl was like, is it actually gay? And I was like, yo, I don't shit myself. I love whenever people are just like, I did this. Is this, is this considered gay? It's like, dog, it's... What you do doesn't make you gay or not. It's just... <laughs> if you are or not, that's... I saw one thread in, in the same subreddit, and someone talked about how he's not gay, and he kept reiterating how he's not gay. I think I... But he's, I sent it to you. <laughs> and he starts to have feelings for his friend, and he's like, we kissed, and then we had... He held my hand, and then we had sex. <laughs> Jesus. And then, um, my sisters are teasing me about calling him my boyfriend, and I'm not gay, so I think there might be a problem here. He might, like, be reading signs too much, because I just think we're friends who have fun every once in a while. It's called Friends with Benefits. Yeah, that's just called In the Closet, actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, being gay. Dude, so, uh... That's my extent on my political issues. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think being gay is cool. I yeah. think... I, I, I'm down with it. I think being you is cool. Yeah, like... It sounds like a... Do what you want, no one... Yeah. If someone cares, it's like... Whoa. Well, oh, that's just life. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> huh. It's been a while since this has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not intended, right? Nope. Well, because this doesn't feel like it was diabolical, you know? No, there's that was too specific to. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, Flower Boy, Tyler, the creator's album. Yeah, it's good. I uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you got four chances. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. So, yeah. No, you, you get it by default. There's only four doors. Oh. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> I was really wanting there to be some type of way that I just... They should have given you three yeah. keys. Yeah. But so, whenever I first listened to uh, Flower Boy, it was like my first Tyler album, so mm. I didn't know the context of who he was as a person. Oh, wow. Uh, like, I didn't actually listen to it till, uh, What was the first trip that we went on this year? The Namco trip? Namco uh, trip, yeah, when we played Jump Force. Yeah, I listened to that album for the very that was first a fun time. Game to play early. Two days before. Nice. Like I listened to the full album on the plane. I remember there. you telling me about that. Yeah, but so I'm just always scared whenever I hit those for I some really reason. Really beat it into you. Yeah, you ha honestly have PTSD I from those. But oh. Oh, good job. Nice. 
God, just fuck clear conditions, man. They're really fun, though. Like, I love that I have to do one specific thing for an entire level and then beat the level. Give me the Cooper shell or whatever. God, I hate how in pain they sound. But yeah. So yeah, after I re-listened to it for, like last month, like really listened to it, like looked up at the lyrics and stuff. Dude, that album's just hard. Yeah, it's like, hard. I didn't realize Garden Shed was literally about him being in the closet the entire time. I'm like, oh. It's like, it's a good album. Though. I, I really think, uh, what was it? Answer is one of the best emotional processing songs, if that makes sense, that I've ever heard. Yeah. Because there's definitely a lot of like, I don't know, hearing the artist struggle, but like throughout the song is so interesting to me. Yeah. Where the problem's not resolved and the song is to mediate the situation. It's literally like he's just trying to, it's pure catharsis. Yeah. Like, he's not saying how he got through it, he's saying this is what I'm going through. Yeah, I think that's such a... I think it's a beautiful thing of art. I th God, art's so good. Music's so good. I love music. Music's so good. Yeah. Art's good. Oh. That's you know, like... You know what's not good? What? Being pro-racism. Yeah. I'll take... I'll agree with that. I'm anti-pro-racism, personally. Yeah, I'm I'm a pro-anti-pro-racism. Oh, dang, that's deep. Yeah. See, I don't know if I'm that pro. I haven't come out to my mom as anti-racist yet. Dude, it's bad to, like... It's kind of scary to come out to your family as anti-racist. <laughs> okay, so we grew up in the South, so, yeah, there there actually is some truth to that. Yeah, no, it's like... I hear my family say things, I'm like, oh. Like, Fio, uh, after we went to Hawaii, she got a pretty uh, decent tan, as you would expect. But she jokingly said in front of my white family... Um, she was like, oh, it was so cool. I got a nice tan, and now I'm dark enough to get stopped by TSA. Which, <laughs> funny as shit. No, that's hilarious. My family was like, well, we've been stopped at TSA before. Which is a very white person thing to say to defend racism. And, like, the thing is, I I'm not saying it's okay that there's racism in the world, but it's okay to acknowledge that yeah, there is. It's like, it's okay that, uh... It's okay to be white and acknowledge that there are racist white people out there. Yeah, that that's like, that's just kind of like we've had wars about that. Yeah. It's like but denying it does not help. That's part of the issue. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling it at this level. Yep. Something about it. Nope. Don't I'm sure like the that. ending's right there, but I'm I'm not about it. No, I don't like that level. Either. I'm not even about this episode. Turn it off.